Hello, BookTube. Merry Ghostmas. Yes. Okay. There we go. We got the book tree and the Christmas tree. Everything's okay. So, um, today I wanted to talk about the next story in our Ghost Miss catalog. Today we're going to be talking about Lost Hearts by M.R. James. Now, this story doesn't have like Christmas in it. There we go. And it's not like Christmas Eve or anything like that. Um, it takes place over the course of probably like, I'd say like six months, five months, six months. Um, it's about this kid who goes to live with his cousin, um, who's an older gentleman, um, at this big lovely house. And inside the house, um, is Mrs. Bunch, who's kind of like the, she's kind of like a maid, but more, she felt more like a socialite to me, but I don't know, she's there. Um, and then there's Mr. Parks, the butler, and the kid is just like super intrigued by everything and wants to know everything about everything. Um, and then as the story unfolds, it turns out that um, he's the third person of his age that has stayed at the house um, over the last like 20 years or something. And that um, a couple other of the the two other kids who stayed there um, left mysteriously, we should say. Um, but I kind of don't want to like spoil it because it's a fun story. And this one is the first one out of out of the stories that we've done so far that is actually like scary like it has two scenes in it that are genuinely terrifying um the story itself is just under four thousand words long it's not that hard of a read at all um this is one of zoe's favorites um for christmas like this this scares the shit out of her um with good reason. Um, there are, like I said, those two scenes. I don't want to spoil them. Okay, I'm going to spoil them. Okay, so um, if you want to read it, go to weirdmass.com. I just posted it. You could read it there. Or you can find it anywhere online. Just Google it. Um, Lost Hearts by M.R. James. Who, M.R. James is flipping awesome, by the way. Um, but, uh, so, okay. I'm going to try to recreate this okay so there's this like disused bathroom all right that's like down the hall from um the kid steven's bedroom and he has a dream one night that he is walking down the hall and he goes up to the door to this bathroom that nobody uses and it's like kind of locked and not allowed to go in there or whatever and the upper half of the door is like glazed frosted glass. So you could kind of like make out what's in there, but like you can't like see what's in there. And he looked up, he like got on his toes and like looked through the door, through the little glass. And he saw this like bathtub. And in the bathtub, he saw what he thought was a body covered with like, I don't know if it was like cheesecloth or what, but covered with like some sort of cloth thing. 
And um, it was, I guess, laying like this, he thought. And um, suddenly, while he was looking, like the arm started to move. And he like freaked out and fell backwards. And then he wakes up. But he wakes up in the hall in front of the door to the bathroom. So, just out of curiosity, he gets up and looks through the window, and nothing's there. So he told this to Mrs. Bunch, and she put, um, what do they call it, Muslim? Like, she put, like, some sort of curtain up, or whatever. Then later in the story, um, he is looking out his window late at night. It's like 10 o'clock at night or something. And the moon's bright and big. And he sees these two kids standing on the gravel looking up at him. And um, they look a little terrifying. And there was a boy and a girl, and the girl really resembled the figure he saw in the bathtub. And the boy looked kind of scary, and his nails were kind of long. And he, like, lifted his arm up and pointed. And when he did that, he could see that there was a giant hole and the kid's chest. And, um, like, that whole bit was so scary. Like, how it's told. I did it no justice. So, apologies. But anyway, so, um, it's a super good little ghost story for realsies. Um, and tomorrow we will do another. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. So if you've read this, if you like it, let me know down below what you think, and we can talk more about it. Where's the button?